What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. Since I'm talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today, Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Talking about this alternate trailer or teaser, or actually, yeah, trailer. Alternate trailer that was discovered online and was sent to me by several different people. I'm going to shout out, um, shout out to all of you because I can't really cite all these names. But I, I am going to mention the name of where it was originated from for everyone who kept sharing it to me. Uh, shout out to you, Kane. And this video is showing us the footage i had talked about in another video and i know some other people have talked about it on in, on their channels as well this alternate trailer shows us the footage of lane getting taken by the creeper after what looks like chase is trying to propose to her at the horror hound event i guess in a cemetery and then while that's occurring she gets snatched by the creeper there's some awfully hideous green screen behind all of it and that's a, i guess still a thing that we should expect in the upcoming movie when it releases in september uh there was also a new poster that i came across as well much this poster that's out here i guess is from either australia or germany i didn't really recall what's what country it was for but it it's much better than the multiple posters that they've already put out for us in the states i would say um there's also been this new images i've come across of jaru benjamin in the creeper makeup i again if you're listening to me jaru i have a something is telling me that you you might be the highlight of this movie i'm not necessarily digging the makeup but i know you message me i am looking forward to what you do in this in this costume in this makeup and i'm looking forward to seeing how you make the character your own i'm just not digging this look i i really am not i think though that he jaru that being our new creeper he will be the highlight of this movie something about what i'm seeing from him in the trailer and the mannerisms that is what is getting me excited about seeing what he can bring to the table in this role even though i would much rather of course have jonathan breck back as i know all of you would i still am going to give this individual a chance um and shout out to you because i know you watch my videos so as far as like that goes and the whole abduction with lane and this new po this new image that you see here on your screen of a child over a, or not a child but a carriage <laughs> that will hold a baby i i really don't i i hope they don't do this it seems like they're going down that that whole lane again i've already touched on this in another video lane is pregnant there's there's this script page that i've already talked about on here where there's bits of dialogue that indicate that lane might be pregnant it's not only that it's the fact that in the posters that we've been seeing and now this behind the scenes image the hint of a baby care or the teasing of a baby carriage death gives it death gives it life is what one of the posters said so lane i'm assuming is pregnant chase probably knows about this or something like that and they probably know about it equally it's not something he's keeping a, she's keeping a secret from him i guess or maybe something else is going on and chase just decides to propose to her because of this but I, I something tells me that lane isn't what the creeper is after he's after this fetus so again that's very nightmare on elm street 5 it's not something i know many of you will be digging if you're someone who knows how trash nightmare on elm street 5 is not to not to then say that the movie itself isn't fun uh because bad movies can still be fun jeepers creepers 4 again looks like it has a lot more better concept the whole mixing escape room and you know Hellfest, and then bringing it into this ip i like the concept meshing there uh, I do also see where a lot of people are chiming in with their thoughts saying this is a complete uh, departure from what we've seen in those first two movies. And maybe that's for the best, honestly. If you want to see something more traditional, you're going to have to stick to just watching those first two movies because it looks like they're trying to step as far away from that while also keeping those two movies canon um, and mostly ignoring the third one. Because we see the post puncher at one point in the teaser during the creeper being shown coming out of the barn what is presumably the taggart barn uh so we know there's that continuity there but something again about this image from behind the scenes with jaru and now seeing the footage in the trailer to confirm that yes there is indeed a proposal going on and then we're considering the script page that again might not even be dialogue that makes it to the final product i'm thinking that the creeper is after the baby within lane she's pregnant there's a baby inside her and something about the baby is what the creeper wants he doesn't really care for lane the movie's probably gonna have a very gruesome ending when in which lane dies and so does her her unborn child and maybe just maybe if and I, i'm literally just holding out hope <laughs> there's a brief cameo from a fully developed creeper and it's uh jonathan brick 
Now, I know that's re really just me shooting off predictions that aren't going to happen because uh, his manager's already said he's not in the movie, but you, you never know. I don't believe he's going to be in it. I would love to see an ending like that where the creeper has been so skinny and, you know, just not his usual self for most of the bulk of the movie. And then by the end, he has his full form and it's somebody else, somebody who you're more familiar with seeing in the makeup. It's Jonathan Breck in a cameo appearance as the Creeper. I know a lot of you would also like that. The chances of that happening are probably very slim. Zero percent is our highest chance of that happening. <laughs> uh, but again, the whole concept of doing that, having him take a baby. I mean, I'm not against it. I just am, again, not blown away by what we've seen so far in the footage that we've got now that we've gotten like a full length trailer again the thing i'm sold on the most right now is what ja ru might potentially be able to bring to the character and also the overall concept that's being presented in the movie i'm not going to say that it doesn't look like it won't be more fun than jeepers creepers 3 because it does look like it'll be a lot more fun the performances do look like they'll be slightly better i am already seeing people saying that they cannot stand the use of the green screen i'm right there with you the green screen looks terrible it just does um uh, and again, I've already put out a poll asking you guys when you plan on seeing the movie. It looks like a majority of you are going to be seeing this on September 19th. Now, if I honestly cannot see this for free, yes, I am going to go out of my way to secure a ticket. Uh, it might seem it seems like honestly, that's what I'll end up having to do anyway, because it I'm assuming going off of my recent recent attempts, screeners will not be made available for this movie. You will have to go out and see it in theaters if you want to see it in advance. So on September 19th, if you're planning on seeing the movie, you'll have something to look forward to when you're done seeing the movie because my review will be up on the channel one way or another. Uh, again, honestly, with that alternate trailer showing us showing us lane getting taken i'm just fully convinced we're going to introduce something that's related to a baby i know a lot of you might not even fall for that storyline or even buy it you'll be turned off by it i'm not really looking forward to it again it just reminds me of nightmare on Elm street 5 and how bad that was but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course so let me know if there is any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video